right, so here's the mixed martial arts superstar, Paige Van Zandt. This is a fighter's fighter, DC. She could do any number of things when it comes to her celebrity and her profile. She wants to fight in the UFC, and she's back tonight. She wants to be inside the octagon because she understands that before the UFC and before all these things, she was a fighter. Yeah. She came here to try and build a career. And by building a career, she built a second career outside of fighting, from dancing with the stars to the swimsuit edition. All of it, though, is based on her ability to win fights. When you go back and you watch some of her victories, the Alex Chambers victory and the jumping kick against Beck Rollins, you understand the level of martial artist that Paige Van Zandt is. She has missed a lot of time due to injury, missed all of 2017, had an arm injury that kept her out most of 2018, now plying her trade as a flyweight. We'll see how it goes for PBZ here tonight. While Valentina Shevchenko put together such an amazing legacy in the UFC women's flyweight division, I never thought I'd see another champion close that gap, and yet here we are with this dominant champion defending her title yet again tonight. Just greatness. That is what she is. She is greatness in the truest sense because she goes out there every time to build on her legacy. She is not out here just fighting. She is fighting with the intent to be considered one of the greatest of all time. She is the champion of the world, and she plans to stay that way. And when you're this good, people start talking about belts in second divisions. She wants to stay at flyweight. She wants to chase further greatness, and another golden opportunity in front of the champion tonight. All right, folks, with that, I'm getting anxious. Both fighters have graced the octagon, ready to go here from a sold-out belt center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Our tail of the tape for this flyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, 12 gauge Paige Benson. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Joanne Jojo Wong! Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon Ready. tonight. All right, so as we get this stand-up only fight underway, just a quick reminder on the rule set, no grappling or wrestling of any type, and fighters also cannot follow up with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. Very important to point that out here at the beginning of round one. It's a pretty good jab. Oh, and there's another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Just high volume, and her opponent's got to make some adjustments. Opponent has to make adjustments, but she has to interrupt those combos. When she gets going into her combination, opponent needs to interrupt that when she is this. Free flowing, it is very difficult to deal with. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. All right, so one minute into the fight, certainly a lot of respect on both sides, but a lot more respect than action, at least thus far. Yeah, boo. I'm boo. I'm, boo. I'm not even. I'm I gotta catch myself. You need to go in there and fight. Come on, man. It's a video game. Somebody do something. Go forward and fight. Three minutes to go. Nice head kick. Don't back up. Push, push. Trying the flying knee there. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. 
Oh, fire there. Probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Massive body kick lands. Oh, great shot. Oh, she's hurt. Yep. So just over 20 total strikes. Oh! Hands higher. Hands higher. Push kick there to the body. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh! There's another nice kick. Solid kicks across the board from her tonight. I mean, she throws the kick without any wind-up. There's no tell to when she's coming. And the front kick is there. Nice job by Van Zandt. Oh! Well, she's able to get back up here, but man, look how wobbly she is. Wow. Oh. And what a run! Stop, stop, stop. All right, so a standing ovation from this capacity crowd after that round. A huge oh, knockdown there in the middle of the round. Got to have her feeling pretty good here as she goes to the stool. Back and forth up to that point. But she eventually found the shot that put her opponent on her backside. But how about the toughness of oh. the opponent to get up off the floor and finish that round? Let's see how she approaches the next round. Caution, flammable, that horn signifies the end of the round and quite frankly after that knockdown with a head kick I didn't think we'd get here it's a merciful horn we're happy to hear the horn because she was getting brutalized she was getting beat up to the body but the big moment was when her opponent took the kick high and knocked her down you ready to fight ready round two on the way oh the roundhouse kick lands Push kick there to the body. Really nice job blocking that shot. She's wobbling bad, J.A. Big head kick. Oh. Trying to establish that jab once again. together some significant body shots here attacking both sides now just out of range with that right hook big shot lands for both guys 48 total strikes have now landed for Paige Van Zandt well still connecting on about four of every 10 attempts 40 percent the accuracy right now against Joanne Calder Beautiful jab there by the champ. Look at her turn over a hip there into that nice head kick. Lands a good series of kicks here. Body shot there. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. She missed with that jab. We'll work with that jab. Jab lands. Never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? What? Oh! Oh, my goodness! Well, she's able to get up, but she is officially on wobbly legs. Just right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Great vision, great defensive instincts by her there as she continues to block the majority of these shots coming her way. Her hands are always where they're supposed to be. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shot. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, that's big. They're going at it now. 
big combination. Big right hand. She's in a world of trouble now. Big knee to the body. There's the end of the round. Multiple knockdowns for her in that round, and they may want to ask her opponent what day it is. It's Saturday. I'm not sure if she knows. She does not know it at this point. But, I mean, it's the ability to find the perfect shot by this young lady. It's no rush. It's no force. She's always doing things the correct way, but she's just landing exactly where she needs to land to put herself in the position that she finds herself in right now. Ready to fight? Ready. Third it. round underway. Well, new round, same result as she continues to attack the body. Oh, she got a nasty head kick home there. Well placed kick there by Van Zant. Try to establish that jab. Nice job by her there to block that shot. Well, without even looking at those stats bottom of your screen, you know that the most significant strike in this fight has been to the body. It has been there for her all night long. She knew coming into this fight that she didn't want to just head hunt. She didn't want to just leg kick. She had to attack the midsection, soften up her opponent. She has certainly done that here tonight. Well, she's got a good jab. Miss with it there. All right, so the unofficial numbers tell you 77 total strikes and counting, which have landed for Paige Van Zandt. And connecting with about a 41% accuracy rate here against JoJo Calder. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, nice. Well, she said in these situations she had to protect her head, and defensively she has done an outstanding job of that. She could not do it any better up to this point. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here? I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Head kick there, blocked by Van Zandt. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Nice jab by Wood. Well, she's got a good front kick and certainly put it to good use there. She really understands space management, and she uses that front kick as if she's doing a jab. Well, I hope the judges recognize that she's blocking the majority of these shots. She's doing a beautiful job, I think, defensively. She's doing a great job defensively. Under a minute now to go in this one. Left hand connection and a right. Oh, goes upstairs and lands with the high kick. Ah, uh, not a good visual there. You can see she can put some pressure on that lead leg, but... Oh! Back to the feet now. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finish. Her. I mean, how oh, about those last five minutes? Are you kidding me? All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, but not after serious damage was done. Great round there from Paige Van Zandt. It's okay. We're going to get back up. We're going to be all right. All right, so there's the end of the round. She didn't force the finish after getting that knockdown with the head kick, but was very close to getting the job done there for good in that round. She's so patient. She's never going to overextend herself. She's never going to rush. She's never going to force anything. She will always stay exactly in her pocket. She will stay exactly in her rhythm. She believes that eventually the finish will come. Ready to fight? Ready. 
All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five, five minute rounds. All right, here we go, the tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round of the fight. Chuck there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. Oh, she hurt her. She's getting up. Yep. Oh, head kick, bang. She's so fast, so straight, everything just perfect. Everything perfect. Every strike, every kick, every punch, everything's just perfect. Wood gets caught by the straight punch. Great job blocking that shot. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. It's under three minutes now to go in the round. Catches the kick there. We'll see what she can do with it. Oh, she is as relentless as any striker on this roster, man or woman, eternally aggressive with her strikes. Got to be careful, of course, not to gas out, but so far, so good for her here in this round. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, oh she might be able to get her out of there now. Back to the feet. Defensively responsible, nice block. Real nice body kick land. Back and forth we go. Another body kick land. All right, nice body attack there and damage real. Oh! Huge shots going on right here. All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, eight seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed USC flyweight champion of the world, 12-gauge Paige Van Zandt. So time to exhale for Paige Van Zant, your winner here tonight, and there it is, that million-dollar smile. We've essentially watched her grow up inside the octagon and evolve her skills. Clearly tonight, she took her game to that requisite next level. Let's see if now she draws a top-five opponent here at 115 pounds.